Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you, how I created this eye zoom transition effect in Premiere Pro. So first import a close up eye shot to the timeline, you can use my clip for practice, I'll add the link under the description. First we need to create a mask from the eye opening part. So move the time indicator where the eye is opening. Then go to effect controls tab. Inside opacity, select the pen tool. Now draw a mask around the eyeball. Then invert this mask. Now add a keyframe on mask path. Zoom in the control panel timeline to see the keyframes properly. Then move one frame forward, or you can click on the right arrow key in your keyboard. Select the mask, and adjust the mask path to shape of the eye. Again move one frame forward, and adjust the mask path. Continue the same process to the last frame of your clip. Here I just speed up this part, so you don't have to wait. Okay we have done. Now move the time indicator where the masking was started. And make a cut here. Now delete the mask for the first clip. As you can see, the masking is perfectly done with eye opening movement. Now move the second clip one track above. Then move to the project window. Here I'm going to use a fire loop footage for the background. But you can use any kind footage that you like. So add this footage under the second clip. As you can see, the masking is not smooth yet. We need to adjust the masking a little bit. So select this clip and move to the Effect Controls tab. Inside this mask, increase the mask feather to 150%. And decrease the mask expansion to minus 150%. Let's check the preview. As you can see, it looks better. But the fire loop footage is moving so first. So I'm gonna slow down this footage a little bit. Let's check the preview. Now it looks good. Let's adjust the scale and position. So we can watch it properly, under the eye shape. I'm going to decrease the scale level. Then adjust the positions for fire loop. Now fire loop footage is looking perfect on the eye. But as we can see, my eye footage is moving a little bit. Now we are going to add the same movement to the fire loop footage. So move the time indicator where the footages start moving. Then add a keyframe on position. Move the time indicator a few frames forward and adjust the position with same direction and make sure the bottom layer is selected. As you can see, both footages are perfectly matched with the movements. Now we are going to create the smooth zoom transition. So move the time indicator where you want to make the transition. In my case I want to make the transition here. Then make a cut here. Delete the right part of the clip. Now move the time indicator one second backward, where the transition will be started. Then select the clip. Under the effect controls tab, add a keyframe on scale. Then move a few frames forward. And increase the scale level around 600. Now move the second one to the last frame. To make this animation more smooth, select the first keyframe, and right click on your mouse, then click on ease out. Now expand the scale, and make this curve line just like that. Let's see a quick preview. Now we need to animate the fire loop footage. So move the indicator to the first keyframe, then click on the fire loop clip. Scale up the keyframe timeline to see the keyframes properly. Now add keyframes on the scale and position. Move a few frames forward. Then just reset the scale and position value, by clicking on this reset icon. Now select the first keyframe on scale, right click on it, and select ease out. Again adjust the curve line to make it smooth. Let's check out the preview. We are almost done. Now we're going to add the glow and RGB split effect, to make this animation more smooth. So go to the project tab, and create an adjustment layer. Add this adjustment layer above on your clips. Move this layer where the transition happened. Then cut here, and delete the unwanted part. Now move to the effects tab. And search for Gaussian blur. Add this effect on the adjustment layer. 
Then go to Effect Controls tab. Move the indicator to the first frame, then add keyframes on the opacity and Gaussian blurriness. Decrease the opacity to 0%. Now move few frame forward, again add keyframes on the opacity and blurriness. Move these keyframes to the end. Now move the indicator to the middle point, and set the opacity to 100%, and make the blurriness to 100. Then change the blend mood, normal to screen. Let's see a quick preview. It looks good. And our last step is RGB split effect. So again go to effects tab and search for VR chromatic aberrations. Add this effect to the adjustment layer. Then go to effect controls tab. Inside VR chromatic aberrations, disable the auto VR properties. Select the frame layout to stereoscopic over under. Set the fall of distance value to 100. Then randomly change the red, green and blue aberrations value. Let's see the final preview. Also add some nice sound effects to make it more impactful. Thanks for watching. If you really enjoy this video, please give me a thumbs up. To get more videos like this, hit the subscribe button. Then enable the bell icon to be notified of our next one. And if you have any questions, please feel free to ask me in the comment section. I will see you in the next one. Have a nice day.